determining the areas of strength for the Tampa Bay area and creating jobs. Uh, they issued their report in 2011, uh, and now in 2012, we are announcing that we're moving into the implementation stage, creating jobs uh, under those clusters that were identified. One of the most exciting areas is how we're going to create jobs in health innovation, applied sciences, and medical learning. And that's why we invited you all to uh, the Center for Advanced Medical Learning and Simulation this morning, CAMEL, because they're about to open here in February. And one of the ways we're going to create jobs for the Tampa Bay area uh, over the coming years is by becoming one of the premier health innovation capitals in the United States. And this is the best example, one of the best examples that we have. This is going to build the jobs of the future for the Tampa Bay area. We can't rely any longer on the lower wage jobs in uh, real estate, development, and tourism. Those are important sectors as well, but the higher paying jobs that are going to keep our young people here and all the smart graduates from USF and the other colleges and universities is going to be in health innovation and science. Uh, last month, uh, Stuart Rogel and I met with the Department of Commerce, and they have agreed to work with us now on a follow-on grant to create more jobs in workforce development and health innovation uh, here tied to this burgeoning cluster uh, in health innovation. So we wanted to announce here in the new year we are focused and determined on, on creating new jobs, particularly in health innovation. So let me turn it over to...